Oh man, are we excited for this figure. David, Justin, Justin, tell us what is this beautiful, shiny, just a monstrosity. Pointy thing. <laughs> uh, got a pointy tail, pointy spikes, his hands, his toes are super pointy. Everything about him is pointy. Yes, this of course is Mechagodzilla. This is a SH Monstars Mechagodzilla from the smash hit film Godzilla vs. Kong. One of the one of our highlights of 2021, if you will. Right. And he was he was he was robbed. He was he clearly <laughs> had defeated Godzilla. Yeah. And then that cheater, that swindler, that no good ape guy, King Kong came and jumped on his back like the real coward he is. Oh, Mega man. Godzilla. Justice for Mega Godzilla. He needs it. I think we saw two different movies. No. He, was, he was bad. No way. Godzilla and Kong <laughs> were like destroying the city. That's true. Like Godzilla and Kong murdered millions of people. And he was like, no, that is too much. I think this it was lizard and this monkey, done. I think it was a holiday. I don't think there were people in those buildings. Oh, yeah. The entire country just, <laughs> man. I saw lots of people in the streets. Right, right. Yeah. I think everyone's fine. No big deal. But yes, Mechagodzilla is a gorgeous figure. It's seven and a half inches tall. It's made from plastic and it's got die cast joints. Uh, it's really beefy. Uh, this tail, my goodness. Do you want to take a guess on how long this tail is? Uh, it is quite, it's articulated, so that's exciting. It is. I'm going to say seven inches is the tail. Wow, that's, that's a dang decent guess. To the ruler! To the ruler! <laughs> Look how beautiful it's articulated, it's majestic. And we're going to say... Remember, you, you, me you, you measure from the base. Everybody yeah. knows that, Justin. No cheating. <laughs> yeah, so you're looking at about nine and a half inches of tail right there that's, with the spike. That's re that's respectable. That's a that's a decent tail, Dave. <laughs> that is. Uh, I mean, yeah, and I, I love that. You know, you can you can put it up. You can you can wiggle it, it. Yeah. Shake it. Each one of these is its own separate joint, so that's cool. yeah. You can pivot it. You know, it's got the it's got the claw at the end. Uh, he has two se two sets of hands. One for kind of like that blast effect he had. One that is kind of like a more a more Close. soft, pliable to where you could uh, maybe pick up that no good, dirty King Kong or that rascal Godzilla and just teach him a thing or two. It's like in tag team when this when the after they tag, the partner comes in for like an extra five or six seconds to help beat up. Yeah, it's and like I, a handicap match. I know, that ain't right. But no, this figure's amazing. It's a lot of fun. He is, and, and I love the detail. I mean, it's a. It's a metal monstrosity. I'm, you know, spoiler alert. I'm a big Mega Godzilla fan. I love the, you know, the the old like Showa era, you know, like the the goofy looking ones. But yeah, this <laughs> one is just uh, just so awesome. You know, I love the lights. I can't wait till someone does a custom job to where they actually put LEDs in this thing. It's gonna look Ooh, incredible. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty good. The flexibility on this is surprising for you know what is in essence you know a machine like a right. robot. Yeah, and it has like really cool pistons and gears going on in it. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I'm just looking at like the interior details, you know, the, the mechanics of it all, you know, it looks, you know, you can kind of see how it moves and how it works and stuff like that. And, you know, just really makes you feel bad for him. I know. I mean, I guess he's, in the end, he's a robot. <laughs> he doesn't have feelings. <laughs> he doesn't have feelings, it's fine. I don't know, man. There's some movies that make you feel otherwise when it comes to <laughs> robots. <laughs> well, Godzilla vs. Kong is not one of them. You're like, yeah, sure. beat up that robot. I know, sometimes I feel really sad when I see robots getting injured. Like Iron Giant? Oh, that's a bad that's one, yeah. Or when Bumblebee's getting all oh, captured. Yeah. That's always terrifying, too. But Tell them want to run away and save themselves. But Mechagodzilla's, Mechagodzilla's pretty rad. But yeah, he's, he's beefy. He's spiky. Uh, it wouldn't be... Uh, a Godzilla figure if you didn't hurt yourself in some form <laughs> or another when it comes to these spikes. Uh, but it's on the floor, it. you don't want to step on it. You know, right. There's definitely, uh, there will be some swear words uh, yelling at your kids or your, your wife or your husband or your partner. Just like, why'd you leave Mega Godzilla on the floor? Right. If you find yourself in a home alone situation, definitely can be used as uh, protection. We just wrote the next uh, home alone movie. <laughs> Not the one they just had on Disney Plus because. That was not so good, but yeah. Right. Just put all the monster arts like right in the door, like instead of the ornaments. So when uh, Daniel Stern steps on him, he steps on Godzilla. Yeah, and he get the shriek, the Daniel yeah. Stern shriek. Uh, so yeah, so I love this figure. Uh, when is this available? This should be available in January of 2022. Very excited about that. It retails for $150. You got your, your plastic and your die cast joints. This thing's beautiful, it's gorgeous. Yeah, and so and when you get it, and when you take the inevitable pictures next to your Kong or Godzilla or anything in the Monster Arts catalog, you know, make sure to tag us in all of your posts. We're at Bluefin Brands or hashtag Bluefin Brands. We love seeing everything you have, and that's the best way to keep up with everything. You know, giveaways, reviews, unboxings, everything. Just uh, follow us at Bluefin Brands, and uh, we will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much. Justice for Mecha Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Hashtag. <laughs> that's not a thing.
it's a thing. No. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a thing. Bye! No.